in the previous class we solved the problems on the linear polynomials solving using identities very fine the algebraic identities today we can solve some more problems on the algebraic identities and factorization of the polynomials using algebraic identities now next question is factorize 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 27 y cube 27 y cube plus 125 z cube 125 z cube first whether we should check whether we are in standard form or not then we use suitable identity to factorize this one here 27 is 3 cube and 125 is 5 cube 25 is 3 cube and 125 is 5 cube they are perfect cube numbers so that we can use identity x cube plus y cube okay in the place of x what is here 3y whole cube plus 5z whole cube we can convert it to this one to the standard form then we can use the identity okay here 27 is a 3 cube and 125 is 5 cube that is why we are writing in the standard form and using the identity x equal to 3y and y equal to 5z what is here x cube plus y cube identity we are using in the previous class we solved that identity is x cube plus y cube identity that one what is the identity x cube plus y cube equal to a plus b x plus y into bracket x plus y into bracket x square minus x y x square minus x y plus y square x cube plus y cube equal to x plus y into bracket x square minus x y plus y square this is a algebraic identity we are using to factorize the given polynomial now in the place of x 3y is there in the place of y 5z is there x cube plus y cube we use this formula here 3y whole cube plus 5z whole cube this is equal to what it will become here x plus y 3y plus 5z 3y plus 5z it will become okay now second bracket x square 3y whole square minus xy minus x1 is minus 3y into 5z minus 3y into 5z is answer now what is here plus y square plus 5z whole square x plus y x square minus xy plus y square we are using this identity and the simplifying this one factorizes now what is here simplify just this one 3y plus 5z we are same only 3y plus 5z we are same only second bracket 3 square is 9 9y square 3 fives of 15 15y z 5 square is 25 25 z square now first bracket is in the simplest form we should factorize again second bracket we should factorize the second bracket now we can simplify this one we can split the middle term here what is middle term So we have to check whether that is in the standard form or not. We 
you can stop it here or you can continue. These two are the factors. If you want to simplify, you can still further this one, but you can stop it here. Okay? These two are the factors of given polynomial. 27 y cube plus 125 z cube is there. Here, factorize means it should be written in multiples of two values. For example, 6 is there. What are the factors of 6? 3 into 2. 3 and 2 are there. We are factorizing 6 into 3 into 2. In the same way, one polynomial is here. We should write this polynomial in the form of a into b. First bracket into second bracket. These are the two factors of given polynomial. This one. Okay? Factorization means we are using this formula and writing in the factor form. Okay, so one more question on this one. If they are in standard form, we can use formula. This is in the form of x cube minus y cube. First we will we should check whether the given numbers are perfect cubes or not. 64 is a cube of 4 and 343 is a cube of 7. See, 343 is a cube of 7, 64 is a cube of 4. That's why. Right. This given question, numbers are in standard form. Therefore, we can use the formula x cube minus y cube formula. Now, we will write the formula and simplify that one. We will write formula and simplify that. What is here? Just previous question we written that one. We wrote there x cube plus y cube. Here, we are writing x cube minus y cube. x cube minus y cube means a minus b. This is equal to 4a That's why I am writing the given question in this form. 
for all. Okay? Now, x prime means 4m whole square r plus x into y 4m into 7n. Next, y square plus 7n whole square r. Now, what is here? Right, sim simplify the given values and then write the answer. 4 square is 16. 16 m square, 4 7 sa, 28. 28 here you should write x minus y no? x minus y you should write here x minus y into write this one now what is here for that 4m minus 7m into bracket 4m square plus 7 4 7 sir, 28 mn plus 7 7 7 square is 49 m square now what is your formula? 4m whole cube minus 7m whole square. 4m whole cube minus 7m whole square. Now in this case, 7m whole cube. This is equal to x minus y, 4m minus 7m. 4m minus, this is here. 4m whole cube minus 7n whole cube equal to 4m minus 7n. 4m minus 7n, 4 square is 16m square, 4 7 is 28, m into m is mn, 7 square is 49. Now, if you can to factorize, you can factorize this one. These are the two factors of the given polynomial 64 m cube into 347 minus 347 m cube first we will write the given polynomial and we should factorize that one we should factorize that one using identity ok next we can solve one more question Plus y cube twenty seven x cube plus y cube twenty seven x cube plus y cube plus z cube plus z cube. Plus minus nine x y z minus nine x y z. That is the given question. What is here? Twenty seven x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus nine x y z. That is the given question. We should factorize this one. Factorize. We should factorize this one. Here, yeah, we should convert it to the standard form first. For which standard form we can convert this one? We should convert it to the standard form, then use the formula. Then we should use suitable character formula, we should use that one. Now, what is here? Then, it is of the form 27, we can also write this one as 27 
37 is a cube of 3 3x whole cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3 into 3x into y into z now which identity it is suitable we should think of this one x cube 3x whole cube y cube plus z cube minus a p a b is like that which identity we can use here now we can use identity x cube minus it is of a form it is of the form x cube plus y cube plus z cube x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3 x y z minus 3 x y z that is equal to x plus y plus z that is equal to x plus y plus z into what is what is here x square plus y square plus x square x square plus y square plus z square minus x y minus y z minus z x x plus y plus z into bracket x square plus y square plus z square minus x y minus y z minus z x this is the formula we are using now what is here x place three x is there y place y is there z place z is there only x value is changing here now what is here x plus y plus z this formula is there now x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3 x y z that is equal to x plus y plus z into bracket x square plus y square plus z square into minus x y minus y z minus z x now we should simplify this one now wherever x is there substitute 3x wherever x is there substitute 3x remaining all terms will be same x place 3x plus what is here y place y only y plus z x square means 3x whole square plus y square plus z square minus x y 3x into y minus y z y to z minus z x z into 3x this is the formula now we will factor and simplify this one now we will have it as the same 3x plus y plus z 3 square is 9 9x square plus y square plus z square this will be 3xy 3x into y is minus 3xy minus y z minus 3zx this given polynomial is written in the form of a into b first bracket into second bracket these are the two factors of given polynomial we are using this identity this is the formula we are using this identity formula to write the factors of given polynomial okay Let us try one more question now.
3 x y z 3 x y z that is equal to 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 into x plus y plus z x plus y plus z into bracket what is here Minus y whole square, y minus seven whole square, z minus x whole square. Half into bracket, x minus y whole square, x plus y plus z equal to x minus y whole square plus y minus z whole square plus middle plus is there plus. This is we should put this one. Verify that. Verify that. X cube. Sim in the previous question we used a similar type of question. Almost a similar type of question. X cube plus y cube plus z cube plus z cube minus three x y z. Three terms are there. Three variables are there. X y z equal to half into x plus y plus z. Into bracket, into bracket, x minus one whole square, y minus one whole square, z minus x whole square. Very fine is whether LHS is equal to RHS or not. Here RHS is complicated. That's why we will simplify RHS. We will simplify RHS and then write the uh, break into the standard form LHS. RHS is more complicated. That is why. We will simplify RHS. We will simplify RHS and bring it to the form LHS. Okay. Now we will simplify RHS now. RHS equal to what is RHS? One by two into bracket x plus y plus z. Now here a minus b whole square. What is that? We are using a minus b formula. A square x square x minus one whole square. What is formula? X square minus x y minus two x y plus y square plus y minus one whole square. That is y square minus two y z. Plus z square plus z minus x whole square. We are using identity formula here. Okay, z minus x whole square. Z square minus two z x plus x square. Now we will simplify this one and write the answer. Okay. We will simplify this one now and write the answer. Okay, what is answer here? What will you get now? One 
by 2 into now x square x square 2 x square are getting y square y square 2 y square are getting 1 by 2 into bracket x plus y plus z so that same x square x square last x square is here plus 2 x square ok y square y square 2 y square are getting plus 2 y square plus 2 z square ok now what we are getting here 2xy minus 2xy minus 2yz minus 2zx minus 2xy minus 2yz minus 2zx in all the terms of 2 is there we can take 2 common outside 1 by 2 into bracket 2 outside x plus y plus z x plus y plus z equal to what is answer here ok if you take 2 common outside what will you get answer here now what is answer in this case 2 is outside now if you take 2 outside x square plus y square plus z square you know all the terms 2 is taken outside this will be minus xy minus yz minus zx that is equal to 2 tokens cancel 2 tokens cancel away now what is remaining x square plus y square plus z square now apply this one formula previous formula 1 by 2 to take this formula previous formula we should use the way now that is in the form of x plus y plus z equal to x square plus y square plus z square minus x y minus y z minus z x that is equal to x two plus y two plus z q it is in the form of x two plus y q minus 3xyz x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xyz that is the formula same formula we use in the previous question here also we are using the same formula LHS is equal to RHS this is LHS using identity using identity what is that identity x cube plus y cube plus z cube x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3 x y z equal to x plus y plus z into bracket y x square plus y square plus z square minus x y minus y z minus z x same formula we use it One more question on this one.